Hi guys, Zach Swanson here, PDGA number 112565 from Grand Haven, Michigan. I thought I'd do an updated in the bag, so let's get right into it. Starting with putting putters, uh, putt with D-line P2s. I've got a matching pair of max weight. I really like the white. Um, I don't know why, I've tried yellow, purple, but the white ones are where it's at. The golf ball run. Uh, so I putt with those and then anything outside a circle to maybe like 60 to 100 feet um, that I'm trying to give a run. I got a nice beat up D-line P2. Uh, I use this for approaches. It's fairly understable now. Uh, used to be one of my main putting putters, uh, but over time I've beaten it in and uh, it's a fantastic approach disc. Stepping up in stability, I have a DX Big Bead AVR. Uh, I use this for putting when it's really windy, uh, overstable approach shots, this tacky, grippy DX plastic um, kind of sits real nice near the basket, so maybe approaches where the basket's on a hill or has a chance of running away, uh, I'll use this DX Big Bead AVR. Last putter is a Champion Glow Big Bead AVR. A little bit more overstable than the DX. Uh, I use this for headwinds, overstable tee shots and approaches, um, where maybe I just don't trust the other putter, uh, approach discs that I have if it's a little windy. Champion Glow Big Bead AVR. And then Kind of in between putters and mid ranges, I bag a Champion Gator flat top. Uh, I like the Ring of Gators run, so I have quite a few of those uh, as backups. This is the one that's in the bag now. And I use this 95% forehand approaches. Every once in a while, a backhand in the wind, or if I need something to really get left, um, where the big bead AVR won't quite get left far enough. And so, love the Gator. and. I just put this in the bag maybe three weeks ago. This is a Exosoft Tactic by Discra uh, Dismania. Uh, same thing, forehand overstable approaches. Um, with the Gator kind of can get away from me a little bit or you know, if I'm approaching forehand, sometimes it'll skip out to 25. Uh, I can throw this disc the exact same way, but it's gonna stick. So it's turning a lot of those 25 footers into 10 to 15 footers. Um, I've really, really been loving the Exosoft tactic from Dismania. Fantastic disc. <coughs> Up to mid ranges. Got four in the bag right now. Start with the most understable. It's a Star Stingray. I really love the Stingray. Uh, understable mid range, hyzer flip, maybe a little turn, throw it flat, turn to the right. Um, I really love the lower profile on these. It kind of makes me feel like I'm throwing a fairway driver, but at like mid-range speeds. Um, super fantastic disc, Star Stingray. Stepping up a tad bit in stability is a uh, old DX Rock, kind of beat up uh, to the point where it's a hyzer flip to straight. It might turn a little bit to the right, but it's gonna kind of finish left at the end. Uh, a little bit more stable than the Stingray. Fantastic, love in this. I actually just put this in the bag not that long ago. <clears throat> One more step up from there is a pre-flight number Champion Shark. This is a super gummy run. Um, this is uh, throw it hard and flat and it's just gonna go straight. A little bit of hyzer at the end or throw it on hyzer. Might flip up a tad bit. Um, it's beaten in pretty well. Uh, but I love the shark. Shark's absolutely my favorite mid-range, which is why I have a second one in the bag. This one's a little newer, a little stiffer. Uh, swirly, pearly, beautiful F2 champion shark. Um, <clears throat> and these are both Ontar yeah, Ontario sharks. Um, fantastic. Uh, this is nice and overstable. I can trust it into winds. I used to bag a Rock X3. Um, and this is bump that right out of the bag. Awesome, overstable champion shark. Up to fairway drivers. 
Same thing, we'll start with the most understable and move up in stability. This is a champion 11 time T-Bird. This is very understable. Um, Heiser flip turnovers, uh, weird like flip up forehands through the woods. Um, I throw this a lot and when I'm playing in the woods, in the open, I don't throw this very often. So it just kind of depends on the course, um, but I love the 11 time champ T-Bird. Excuse me. Next up, a Star T AJ Star T-Bird. Um, bit more stable, actually quite a bit more stable than that T-Bird. I kind of wish I had something in between, um, but I make do. <clears throat> um, awesome, I mean, it's a T-Bird. What more do I need to say? Fantastic disc. I really like the AJ runs too. Next up in stability and speed is a Paul Macbeth three-time champion Thunderbird. Um, this is beat up. I've got two that are kind of at the same stage of wear, so I try to rotate them um, so that they kind of wear in at the same rate and one of them doesn't get super beat up and the other ones stay new. Um, although it's kind of gotten to the point where I've been leaning on this green one for a while. Awesome 10 speed or nine speed, um, semi overstable fairway. I throw it a lot on hyzer, it kind of flips. It'll ride right, but it's gonna come out at the end. Um, really, really love the Thunderbird mold in general. One of my favorite molds, <coughs> for sure. Brand new addition to the bag. This is a uh, patent number Champion Eagle. I don't know if it's an Eagle L or an Eagle X or just an Eagle. Uh, Champion Glow, a little bit of dome, not like a flat top eagle. I don't really flick this much, um, although I probably will try. Uh, I've literally had this in the bag for maybe a week now, but I'm loving it. Uh, a little bit more overstable than my Thunderbird. Pretty much same speed and distance profile, um, just with a little bit more finish at the end. Champion Glow Eagle, awesome, awesome. I'm loving it. <coughs> Next up, uh, 2019 Nate Sexton Firebird. Um, it's a Nate Sexton Firebird. I love it. It's fantastic. It's um, a little bit more overstable than the next disc in my bag, which is a Star First Run Star Max, and this is beat up like perfectly. Um, I can Heiser flip it a little bit. Um, 99% forehand, same thing with the Firebird. If I need a backhand over stable kind of fairway distance, I'll throw the Eagle. Um, so the Firebird is a little bit more stable than the Max. So I kind of, they're very similar. This one just uh, comes out of either the turn or out of, you know, holding straight a little bit quicker than the Star Max. So 19 Sexton, Star Max. And then I have a Champion Glow Max, which is a beefcake. I throw this on force over forehands, force over backhands, or like approach shots that I really, like I need to put up high and have cr come crashing uh, right or come crashing left. Um, Champion Glow Max, and I also have a Metal Flake Max in the bag. Same idea, just a tad bit more overstable than the Champion Glow. Um, I like to throw this on forehand rollers, um, skip shots, anything that I needed to be as overstable as possible. When I need to get to the side, I throw this. It is the most reliable, overstable disc on the market. I don't think anybody makes anything. In, there's some discs that are close, but this is one of a kind disc, truly. Then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, my roller disc, which is a pre-flight number Sidewinder, Star Sidewinder. Um, rollers, uh, that's 95% what I throw for. Every once in a while, a forehand or a backhand um, like patent pending shots is really nice because if I can't like get over top, if I need to like patent pen and throw something on hyzer and have it get right, uh, you don't need a, a much speed to get this to turn. Um, you don't need much power to get it to roll. It's a fantastic disc, Star Sidewinder.
Oh, excuse me. Now to the meat and potatoes of the bag. The distance drivers. Start with the, excuse me, the least understable and kind of, well, actually, no, we won't. We're gonna do it this way. So my most understable destroyer. Uh, this is a two-line AJ. Nice and beat up, flat, not, not Vulcan top, but pretty flat. Um, this is Heiser Flip. Uh, to turn it's gonna come out a little bit at the end, but it, it pretty much just goes dead straight um, Enough power it turns lay off it'll hyzer, but uh, My most understable destroyer Next up in stability another two-line AJ this one's a pop top though. Uh, this is my go-to driver um, Not max distance, but just when I need a consistent throw it on hyzer it's gonna ride straight for 350 370 up to 400 with that kind of uh, dump at the end uh but not a mega dump so, oh, i love this disc so much it's been getting me lots and lots of birdies <coughs> then this one i just put in the bag i swapped out another destroyer this is um this is a champ star blend destroyer factory second um same profile pop top as the yellow one pretty much the same stability a little bit more finish at the end um i just put this one in the bag because it's incredible and it was in my backup bag and i just kept kept regretting that it was it wasn't in my tournament bag um so I put it in my tournament bag. It's pretty much a clone of the yellow one that came before it though. <coughs> and then I have a pop top, uh, bottom stamp, Star Destroyer, uh, penned run. And this thing is very overstable. Um, it's been in the bag for a little over a month. Still very overstable. Headwind, uh, force over something that needs to come out. Uh, super reliable overstable destroyer gotta have one in the bag fantastic disc and then my forehand destroyer uh this is a 2019 calvin heimberg tour series uh swirly star destroyer uh they all all the ones i got came out pretty flat and so i really like it for forehands it's super comfortable very overstable uh at least as overstable as my blue pop top uh bottom stamp um i don't know if they're all that way but the this is the first one i put in the bag when they came out and i got like five or six of them and it's been in the bag since and it's still overstable <coughs> i had a metal flake destroyer that i lost um about a week ago um at a local course and i have more metal flake destroyers but none that were the one I had was a super pop top, extremely overstable, super fun to throw, skip shots, um, basically a Domi Max. Not quite as overstable, but uh, incredible disc. And so instead of replacing it with one of the other Metal Flake Destroyers that I have that are a little bit flatter, not quite as overstable, I put in this... Uh, double g slab i don't know if it's metal flake c blend or if it's concrete um but it's very overstable everyone was uh telling me these were just like a max i completely disagree they are nothing like a max they're not nearly as overstable but it's almost as overstable as that metal flake destroyer i had so it took its place um and i really like it i'm happy that i made that choice so, metal flakes, C blend, <clears throat> excuse me, or concrete slab. I'm not sure which one. Um, and then, last but not least, I bagged two bosses. One is an Echo Star boss, and this is my Tailwind No Wind Bomber. I have to throw it on Heiser to get it to flip up, ride right. And then a little bit of come out at the end. This is my absolute 100% maximum distance backhand driver. Um, I've thrown it 500 feet once, 
476 once, but really it's like 425. Uh, 430 on a average to above average pull um, it is my long range bomber fantastic disc Echo Star Blast. They beat in to be just the farthest flying disc I've ever thrown. And then this is a just a regular Star Boss. Um, cool die on it. Bottom die too. Uh, this is a little bit, I mean, quite a bit more overstable than the Echo Star, but still not brand new boss stable. Um, I can hyzer flip it and get some work to the right out of it. Um, this is my headwind maximum distance driver. Um, I, I have to hit it on the right angle in a headwind. Uh, otherwise it's gotten a little bit squirrely on me. If I hit it flat, it's going to push right and might not come back. But on just enough hyzer into a headwind, I can hit it, it'll ride right, and it's gonna come back. And um, I can throw this about 415, 420 on a really, really good throw. Yeah, that's what's in my bag, guys. That's everything. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I have an all in of a bag, except for the one infinite and the uh, one dis, I mean, the Dismania putters and the tactic which I still consider under the Innova umbrella. Um, I'm a huge fan of Innova's products. I recommend anyone, their discs are incredible. Um, and the nuances between the runs is awesome. Figuring that out has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, support Innova Champion Discs. Uh, thank you guys, I appreciate it.